Hello everyone, my name's Amstar. Welcome to another Amstar Gaming Tutorial. This time we're on Elder Scrolls Online and I am now on the PlayStation 5 and I play on the North American server. So if you're a crafting enthusiast on Elder Scrolls Online and you're right into crafting, you like decorating and with the new armory system, this will be a very helpful tutorial for you if you have alternate characters. So before I go any further, I just want to thank a few guild members in the Army of Meridia that I play with. Uh, big shout out to Mel, Mythos, uh, Dilbert, Budzilla for showing me this method. So when you have an alternate character, like this character for example, I just use it for healing. Okay, so also use it for healing. And with the armory system, you can have two slots. They give you one for free. I did explain that in a previous tutorial. So if you are running low on materials, you've got all these other characters, um, this method will be very helpful for you. So if you're on PC, it's not really going to matter because you've got the um, add-ons to help you with this. But if you're a console player and you're looking at making a lot of gold um, through selling gold materials, then this is a method that can help you out. Okay, so the first thing you want to do you want to go to your armory station. As you can see here, I've got two slots. This is going to be my spare slot. So you can see here, you want to save your build or whatever you've got for this character. Like I'm running Ola Rime, Earthgore, Hades. Okay, that's the set I'm running and your champion points and all that. So you want to save that build on your PVE healer. So if you need to change the name, you're just on the PlayStation 5 or PS4, you just press R3, then you can rename it. Now, I'm going to go to build 2 because I want to make this character my crafter now because I've got 18 characters. So I want to select it. And then I want to go square to equip it if you're on the PlayStation. And then boom, there you have it. It just reset it, okay? So I'm going to make this character my crafter. So now I'm going to change the build to, to crafter. So I know that I'm on my crafter. That way if I get asked to do trials or anything like that, I want to make sure I'm not on a crafter setup. Okay, and I'm just going to go that symbol and that's it. Okay, so I might just put an outfit on this guy real quick. And there you go. So he's got his outfit back on. Okay, so it completely resets anything. So if I had vampirism or anything like that on this character, it would have reset it. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to set up my champion points and my skills. So I might as well just go all magicka. It's just going to reset everything. Okay, so I want to ignore all this. This is just going to be for crafting. I don't need to worry about any of this. Okay, as you can see up on the top left hand side, if you look at my points, I've got 173 skill points. Okay, so the only tree I want to focus on, you can put points in here if you want, but the only thing I want to focus on is my crafting trees. Okay, this is all I care about because I want to make this character a crafter. Okay, so from top to bottom, I'm going to start with alchemy and I want to put all those points into these skill trees. Medicinal use, chemistry for the extra items crafted, laboratory use, and that's it. That's it for that tree. Okay. Next tree, blacksmithing. It's 50 out of 50. Definitely want the hiling for the materials, metal extraction. Don't worry about the research, because I'm not going to make him a nitrate crafter, he's just for crafting grits. Temper expertise. Same with clothing. Ignore the stitching. Okay, enchanting. So I haven't maxed out my enchanting. It doesn't matter. Okay, we want the hireling. Okay, so that's it for enchanting. Um, I'm actually going to power level this in this tutorial. Jewelry crafting. So 
you need to get jewelry crafting up, it's pretty easy. All you gotta do, grind on the other characters, put all the jewelry items into your bank, hop onto this character and deconstruct the lot. Shouldn't take too long. And as long as you've got three in the extraction, you wanna try and invest in this as often as you can. And plating expertise, just in case you need to do a masterful rip. Okay, so that's it for jewelry crafting provisioning. We wanna get all our points into here. Okay, and then obviously the high link, because that's where we're gonna get our materials from. Woodworking. Okay, so that's it. That's all we gotta do there. I'm just focusing on the crafting. This is just for crafting writs. Okay, now the next tree I want to look at is the champion tree. So the only thing I'm going to focus on is obviously the green tree, okay? Anything to do with crafting. So you definitely want the crafting inspiration. Disassembly, okay, definitely want that. Okay, so that's no good to me. Uh, gathering, if you decide to go out gathering with this character, it wouldn't hurt. Uh, treasure Hunter, if you, yeah. Okay, so you want the Steed's Blessing just for the movement speed out of combat. And maybe Professional Upkeep, if you had to repair your gear, that'd be an alright one. But the main ones I'm going to be looking at is this one here, Disassembly, uh, Treasure Hunter. If you wanted to go out in the open world and do a bit of gathering, you could use Master Gatherer, okay? Then I want to confirm. I don't need to worry about these two trees because this character will not be used for anything else but crafting roots. Okay, so what I want to do now is you definitely want to go to your armory station. Actually, in your quick slots, you want to go collections, go to your allies. You definitely want to have these guys quick slotted, okay? And you'll see later on why. Okay, now we want to save this build under crafted. Do not override your PV. Make sure you got crafter selected. Then you want to go triangle on the PlayStation to save your build. Okay, there you have it. Now I've got my crafter set up build. So let's have a look at that. I had 174, so 134 points, skill points left over. Okay, so I'm in Northern Elsewhere. I'll just bring up my map and I'm in Rimmon, okay? So I like Rimmon because it's nice and close, similar to Vardenfell in, and uh, in Vivic City or even Somerset, okay? So there's your crafting grid station uh, boards here. So that's where you'd pick them up. But before I do any of that, what I need to do is before I said my enchanting was low, okay? So I went on an alternate character and I crafted a whole heap of enchanting um, stones on, on a character and I'm gonna deconstruct them to power level. So let's just go our skills real quick. As you can see there, I've got 37 enchanting, okay? So what you want to do, I want to come up to the enchanting table. I just want to quickly power level this before I go any further. So as you can see there, I've crafted 107. I don't think I need that many, but I want to try and get up to 50, okay? And there you go, just got Master Enchanter. Okay, so I want to do this before I go pick up the roots. Before I go any further, I want to go into my skills so that's how you power level your enchanting, okay? So you can use your own character to craft the items as long as they're at the 160 quality. So let's go to the enchanting real quick. So as long as you've got the 160, which is the highest, which is Rapora. And let's say Denis. And I went Rakuta. So I'll just make that real quick. As you can see there, 
160, okay? So I deconstructed about 100 of them to max that out to 50. Okay, now we wanna to go to the board now that we've allocated those skill points. And now you wanna pick up your crafting roots. As you can see there, it's highlighted what I need to craft it. Okay, and I'll just do it anti-clockwise. I go to the jewelry crafting station. Now this might be the highest quality because I haven't got 50 out of 50. I will be working towards that, but I just wanted to show you because you or may or may not have yours maxed out, but just to show you, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's that one. And then we've got an enchanting route. We'll do that real quick. So on PC, you don't actually physically do it. You actually go up to the table and it does it for It's called uh, Easy Crafter or Lazy Crafter. I want to clean my selections. And it's an add-on you can get on PC. Unfortunately, on console, we don't have that. So, Superb Glyph of Magicka with Tar. So that's a truly superb glyph of magicka. Okay, so that'll be the one that I need. And let's see, there's another level 10. So it's an unknown runestone, that's all right. Okay, there you go, I just learnt that uh, runestone. Just remember, I've only literally just power leveled this. So if you come across this problem, hopefully that helps you out. So just remember, you just you need to do a 180, talk to that person, look for the level 10 um, aspect, and then you're good to go. So cooking fire. Okay, missing recipe. So if you're ever missing the recipe, there is a person close by we can go and purchase it and it is Hardgraven's tonic okay because I'll show you real quick we can go to get that uh, but we'll just continue on with the crafting roots okay so now because it's level I've got the 10 points and I've got to make the ancestor silk okay So that's done.
Okay, so I'm just going to highlight the quest item for the provisioner. I need Hardgraven's tonic. Okay, so I'll show you real quick where you can get that. It shouldn't be too expensive. If you come to this location here, the tavern, there's the tavern symbol, and the sugar bowl. Okay, there should be a vendor right here where you can purchase that. Okay, so we'll talk to the brewer. There it is there, 1,600. Okay, so we're gonna purchase that. Then the next thing we want to do is we want to learn that recipe. Okay. Okay, so this time when we go up to that provisioning station, we should be able to craft that. Hardgraven's tonic. Okay, so there's the tonic section. And we're gonna craft one. It'll actually give you three, because remember I put it in the passives. Okay, now we want to go across, just past this way shrine. Okay, and let's see what we get. Okay, so as you can see there, they were all the highest level you can get in the game because so I've made this character a crafter. And then we'll just go through, let's see what we got. So we go to our supplies. Okay, so there's some materials there. Grand repair kits. See, there you go, drill wax. There you go. Okay, so we got a sealed enchantery. We got a uh, server. Okay, cool. Okay, look at that. We've got some Zergon grains. So, you know, you could probably sell the grains or you can make them into platings and sell them to make a bit of, bit of gold there. Yep. Okay, Beavis juice, Frost Mirim. There you go. There's some recipes you can sell and obviously the materials you'll need for future um, crafting roots. And dude, look at that. We've got some rosin. Okay, cool. And some masterful roots for your crafting roots. So there you have it, that's just one character. So you can imagine if you had eight of these and you can see how quick you can, like if I didn't have to go looking for the recipes and that, you can see how quick you could do this and rotate your characters. So if you're new to ESO and you play on the console version of the game, on PC it's much different, it's a lot quicker because you don't have to go in and craft each individual item. But um, hopefully you found the tutorial helpful and feel free to hit a like and subscribe and hopefully you can get into crafting and decorating housing like myself. And thank you for taking time to watch the tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.